Okay, in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to set up a Facebook fan page and then how to integrate that very simply so you've got a bit of that on your blog. Now, uh, what is a fan page? Well, it's what Facebook have created for people where they can set up a page for their business, for them, uh, for themselves as a, as a brand, uh, where uh, a page where you can do business um, outside of your personal profile because, of course, you know, your friends profile is really for your family and friends it's where you can share pictures and keep in touch with you know people uh, much more simply um, but obviously one of the difficulties is if you fuse your business contacts into your personal profile is the two don't necessarily mix together of course we want to put a certain amount of ourselves into our business pages but at the end of the day you know if if I'm going to go out and get drunk with my friends and dress up in women's clothing and then there's going to be pictures of that all over my Facebook fan page, I don't think that's necessarily the kind of thing that business acquaintances or associates would want to see. So you want to keep your personal profile for your very personal friends, your inner circle friends and your family, and then move people across to a fan page, which is where you can build up your business profile um, and your business network and start to interact and separate the two worlds. Okay. So let's go into create a fan page. It's very easy to do. So you've already uh, got a Facebook account. If you haven't, you just need to go and create one. Then you come to facebook.com forward slash pages, as you see up the top there. And over on the right hand side, you create a page. Now, depending on what you're doing, uh, this could be a public figure, local business, organization, entertainment, <clears throat> brand or product, okay, cause or topic. So when I was doing my personal branding, and if you're looking at this for your personal branding, initially you'd probably want to head into uh, public figure. So you would uh, put yourself as a, as a public figure there, and then you'd put your name in here. I tend to do it with a capital letter at the start. Agree the terms and create. But I'm going to actually set one up that I want to use. So I'm going to go into uh, cause or topic, and we're going to do... Uh, this is one of my uh, internet businesses. Uh, so vacation clubs, and I'm going to then get started. Okay, and it's just as simple as that. And that's it. We're now through onto our actual page. So there is going to be more to go through here. You can um, upload an image. So again, you can click this here, choose a file from your computer and go in and add uh, your picture image it should all really be uh, getting to grips with that and if we just come down here you can invite your friends, tell other people but what I want to do just in, to finish this video is promote this page on your website so what we want to do is we want to put this box onto a web page so we're going to add the like box actually there's one thing I'm going to do just back here first I'm just going to push the wall, okay, so just get, click the wall, there you go, now copy this URL in the top here, then we're going to go back to get started, <clears throat> and we want to come down here to add a like box, so we're going to promote this on our website, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that and paste in the URL of my actual page. The width here, I'm just going to change this for now to uh, 200. You'll probably end up leaving it at that for many things. I'm going to show you how quickly it is to change that. Then we're just going to go to get code. Now this code here, what we want to do is highlight it all, copy. Now, whichever blog you're going to be looking to put this on, and actually you might find it's going to go on all of your blogs because you're looking to build your brand and all of your little mini blogs that you're going to create. But initially, uh, at this stage, you're, you're obviously got your, your own personal brand, so yourname.com is where you're going to be heading and you would have done the public figure. But I'm going to go across to um, my particular blog, which is selling my um, vacation club product, which is one of my internet businesses. So I'm now going to go to Appearance. This is the admin panel of my WordPress blog. And then I'm going to click Widgets. Okay, Very simple stuff to do here. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to drag, I'm, I'm left click and holding down the left click, what they call drag and drop, 
and then I'm putting it up here. You see where the dotted line comes in. I want this to go at the top. Yeah. And so what I'll then type, I'm going to paste the code in here. That's simple enough. Then I'm going to give them an instruction. So click like, notice I've made that capital letters and made that stand out for Facebook Travel Club Tips. Okay, then I'm going to save and I'm going to close. Now what I'll do, I'm just going to show you what this has just done. So let's just, um, let me open up a new window. And this is their website here. And there you can see on the right hand side there yep there is your Facebook page so if I click like on that that will then like that but it will also tell all of my Facebook friends that I like this page this is how we get it going more virally okay um, now I'm just gonna head back in because I'm gonna change I'm gonna just show you how easy it is to change the width and you'll see here we change the measurement to 200 so there's the 200 there so I'm just going to change there and I'm going to turn it into 250 so I'm just going to make it a little bit wider so I've done that saved it closed I now refresh the screen there you go now it's bigger now I'm just going to show you here what will then happen as we do this so let's head back to the wall Okay, so you can see here, I've just posted a, a comment on here. So let's go back to our Facebook page where I've got this going on. And you can see now, see how that then appears? Yep. So what it's doing is it's giving you a cover of the bases. <clears throat> now underneath this, you'll see if they click an image, they will go off to my um, capture page, which is building a list of people interested in travel. You can see there. So I'm getting them here. I'm highlighting text to link off to the capture page. I've got the slide up opt-in at the bottom that you're going to learn how to put in in, um, in module 5, I think it is, the email marketing chapter where you get to add that to your uh, blog. So you can head to module 5. It's the last video in module 5 if you want to actually put that in now. Um, and you see here now it's integrating Facebook onto your blog. And that's as simple as it is.